Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yeah, I said to you yesterday, it's likely going to be another boring weekend. So let's take a look at the four hour chart first. I just made a um, an Ethereum video. I showed also the price development since June and you can see a nice difference between the Bitcoin chart and the Ethereum chart in the sense that Bitcoin obviously made a new low in November, whereas Ethereum didn't. So you can count it from an Elliott Wave count point of view in a way that Ethereum has three one two setups, whereas Bitcoin only has two, putting Ethereum generally in a more bullish situation should the third wave rallies start, because it would indicate that Ethereum will have a chance to complete um, the waves three, four and five of three one two setups, whereas Bitcoin only has two at the moment. Okay, so that's very important. So we have over the November low, a wave one to the upside, wave two down, wave one up, wave two down and um, yeah we could now be in this third wave rally into the 40k region condition is that 26,190 is holding it's just a chance that's too good to be missed it's just an opportunity in my opinion that's too good to not be part of it of course um, we are just below important resistance and it could fail again yeah absolutely i mean we have prices basically doubled since november so the risk has increased but we're just touching against the ceiling here yeah, look at the chart. I mean, this is relevant resistance here around that period here, 31, 32K. Um, I explained that yesterday price moved between May 22 and June 22 in this region. And um, we're doing that again. It's the same range. Okay, it's the same range, maybe a little bit less volatile. But let's imagine it goes above it <clears throat> historically. There isn't much there in terms of resistance here. You can see how quickly price dropped from round about 40k which would be the third wave target roughly um it depends on the subdivisions we will be able to calculate in much more yeah with much more precision precision as we get closer um so if you know price dropped very quickly so likelihood is that if price breaks above that level that it also will rise quite quickly to that 40k region this is this this level should not be should not be underestimated here at the moment. Yeah, if that breaks, you know, bear in mind we haven't been above that level for over a year, and we've now reached this area basically for the second time. We tried to push through here in April already. The good news is we weren't rejected in a way that we came down in an impulse. We came down in a correction, and that is quite important. And now we're pushing higher. So I think it might just need a catalyst or something. For price to push through i don't know what that catalyst could be maybe the approval of some etfs yeah or some spot yeah some spot etfs potentially for bitcoin who knows but we need some kind of a catalyst possibly to give us that last booth a uh, boost um certainly the buyers are getting careful there is not enough buying pressure but also this the buyers um are still strong enough to keep the price where it is and there are not many sellers okay at the moment not so price is consolidating and the um, corrections to the downside are very very careful and very slow so all of that tells me there is a good chance to go higher but obviously we need to keep a focus on the relevant support areas that tell us which wave count we're in that tell us about the likelihood of failure and continuation at the moment as you can see here um, we assume that price bottomed in a larger degree wave 2 on the 15th of June. Price did move up in a 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, wave 5 still missing pattern. So that would be the wave 1 or for the larger degree wave 3 that I just showed you. The idea is that at the moment we only have 3 waves up of the low. What I cannot rule out is that we already have 5. If it's five, it would only be the alternative wave count. In that case, we already have wave one complete. We would need to prepare for a deeper wave two pullback. So there are two scenarios essentially. My primary scenario is that we only topped in three waves, even though you can count it as five, but the waves four and five, they are not reliable. They are too short. So <clears throat> too short to be reliable and healthy. From that point of view, I assume only topped in three so far. We are now still in the wave four. We could get one more low potentially, and then we could try another attempt in a wave five. Okay, so um, again, I cannot rule out that uh, we already have five waves. In that case, however, I need a break below the relevant support level for the wave four 
to confirm. I've got support at 28,550, the 50% Fibonacci retracement. A break below that level would send price lower into this wave two support area between 26,190 and 28,100. This is the deepest support area relevant for a wave two. Um, but I need to see a break below 28,550 to confirm that we are in a wave two. Until then, I assume this is a wave four and we get one more high in a wave five. And after that, we would get the wave two pullback. But if we go any higher, I will have to adjust this support area a little bit. But that's really essentially it. If the, in the very short term, price hasn't really moved since yesterday, I'm thinking, could this be another WXY structure? And we have here another ABC. But either way, it doesn't really matter for the analysis. At the moment, what I highlighted to you yesterday as well, um, as long as we don't get above this resistance level here, the idea is that we get one more low. I mean, even above that level, it's not fully confirmed, but a break above the 30,630 um, level would at least be a first indication that price is making another attempt at the fifth wave. It's not fully confirmed then, but it would be a first um, indication, okay? So at the moment though, um, looking for one more low here and I'm watching the area between, well, basically the last swing low here at 29,430, then 29,080 and 28,550. These are the relevant support levels. If we get one more low in this particular structure from where price then could try another move up. I highlighted yesterday to you, it has again fulfilled the bare minimum of what it needs to do because we have the 100% extension of the A wave here reached. Yeah, so it could be a so-called running flat where the C wave ends above the A wave low. But yeah, let's see. Um, it, I think it's going to be a boring weekend. Um, I'm still looking at another high. How exactly this is going to happen? I mean, that's sort of impossible, let's say, to predict. We need to be watching the relevant levels. A um, lot of... Um, yeah, the price hasn't really made up its mind yet, but I'm still looking at higher as long as we're holding the relevant support. So yeah, I hope you liked the update. Um, if you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. And also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. You can find the links in the video description and there's additional content every day about trading, mindset, some signals and so on. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.